Welcome to 321 Photoshop, I'm Julianne Cost. My favorite way to modify the edge of a layer mask or a vector mask is to use the non-destructive feather slider on the properties panel. With my selection created, I'll click on the add layer mask icon and then use command one on Mac, control one on Windows to zoom to 100%. On the properties panel, I'll use the feather slider to slightly modify the edge, making it a bit softer. There are times, however, when modifying the edge of a mask using the feather slider creates a halo around the object. In this case, I'll remove the feather and choose Select, Select and Mask instead. I'll set the view mode to view on layers so we can see the background layer and then make a dramatic change to the feather slider. We'll use a combination of feather and shift edge in order to soften the edge without getting a halo. As I move shift edge to the left, it will choke the mask by moving the edges in, or I can move it to the right, in which case it would spread the mask or move the edges out. In this case, I want to shift the edge inwards, but I need a much smaller feather amount. Finally, when you have a mask that needs various amounts of softening along an edge, I find it's easier to use the brush tool. I'll tap B to select the brush tool and then hold down Option Control on Mac or Alt right click on Windows and drag left or right to decrease or increase the size of the brush and drag up and down to increase or decrease the hardness of the brush. Making sure that the layer mask is selected and black is my foreground color, I will paint in the mask modifying the edge of the mask using the softer edge of the brush.